Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best curved monitor. Starting at number 5. Dell Curved Gaming. If you're looking for a budget curved monitor, there are a few good options, but they usually have smaller screens and a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. The Dell S2722DGM is a good low-cost monitor you can often find on sale directly through Dell's website. It has a smaller screen than the Dell S3422DWG, so you can't see as much of your game at once, and it doesn't support HDR either. Its 1500R curve is more aggressive than the curve on the S3422DWG, and this is useful because it has narrow viewing angles, so bringing the edges more within your field of vision means that the screen won't look so washed out at the sides. It's focused on gaming with a 165Hz refresh rate and FreeSync VRR and GSVNC compatibility to reduce screen tearing. However, it has worse motion handling than the S3422DWG, as there's more smearing with fast-moving objects, but it at least has a backlight strobing feature to reduce persistence blur. If you find its 27-inch screen too small or can't find the monitor available, you can also consider the Dell S3222DGM, which has a 32-inch screen and performs similarly but costs more. Coming at number 4. Dell Curved Gaming. If you don't need a high-end display for gaming, or you don't want an office-oriented monitor like the LG 40WP95CW, then the Dell S3422DWG is something to consider in the lower mid-range price category. It has the same 34-inch screen size, 1440p resolution, and 1800 arc curve as the Dell Alienware AW3423DW, so it's a much cheaper alternative to that. The main trade-off is that it has worse picture quality than the AW3423DW, but that's what you have to expect if you want to save some money. Instead of the QD OLED panel, it has an LED backlit LCD panel with good contrast and excellent black uniformity, but it doesn't get as bright or have the same vivid colors in HDR. Besides the differences in picture quality, it's still great for gaming with FreeSync VRR support to reduce screen tearing and good motion handling. However, there are some drawbacks to its panel type, as it has narrow viewing angles that make the screen look washed out from the sides. Luckily, because of the curved screen, the edges don't look too inconsistent when sitting directly in front. At number 3. LG 40WP95CW 40-inch. If you don't need gaming features and want a curved monitor only for work, consider the LG 40WP95CW. It has fewer gaming features and worse picture quality than both the Samsung Odyssey Neo G8 S32BG85 and the Dell Alienware AW3423DW. Instead, it has a bigger 40-inch screen with a 5K 2K resolution and high pixel density, producing extremely sharp text. It has many productivity features that make it great for office use, and it comes factory calibrated, which is important if your work requires accurate colors. Connecting it to your work laptop is easy because it has two USB-C ports with Thunderbolt for support. You can display an image from a compatible laptop and charge it with the same cable using the monitor's 96W of power delivery. It also has a few handy features like a picture-by-picture -picture mode so you can simultaneously display images from two sources, like if you need to use your personal computer and work laptop. If you want something cheaper, you can also consider the LG 38WN95CW, which has more gaming features, like a higher refresh rate, but has a lower resolution and worse text clarity. Number 2 of my list. Samsung 32-inch Odyssey. If you prefer something with a 16 to 9 aspect ratio and a 4K resolution, you can get some great options like the Samsung Odyssey Neo G8 S32BG85. It's a high-end monitor that doesn't display the same perfect blacks as the Dell Alienware AW3423DW but has other advantages, too. It uses mini-LED backlighting, so it gets brighter than the Dell, and it still displays deep blacks and has a decent local dimming feature, but there's some blooming around bright objects. It has many gaming features, like its VRR support and 240Hz refresh rate, which lets you play games at a high refresh rate. 
Even if you don't want a monitor with such a high refresh rate, the Samsung Odyssey Neo G7S 32BG75 is similar with a 165Hz refresh rate and tends to cost less. Regardless of which monitor you get, both monitors have a fast response time for smooth motion, and they have HDMI 2.1 bandwidth to take full advantage of gaming consoles or HDMI 2.1 graphics cards. You can even consider something like the Gigabyte M32UC if you find either of those Samsung monitors too expensive, but it has worse picture quality. And number 1. Alienware AW3423DW the best curved monitor that we've tested is the Dell Alienware AW3423DW. It's an excellent overall monitor with a 21 to 9 aspect ratio and a 1800R curve. It features a QD OLED panel that delivers fantastic picture quality as blacks look deep and inky in dark rooms thanks to its near-infinite contrast ratio, and there isn't any blooming around bright objects either. However, it displays those perfect blacks only in dark rooms as using this monitor in bright rooms causes the black levels to rise. Besides its fantastic picture quality, it's also excellent for gaming, as motion looks smooth due to its near instantaneous response time. It has native GSWNC variable refresh rate VRR, support to reduce screen tearing, which is useful if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Even if you have an AMD graphics card and don't need the native GSANC support, the Dell Alienware AW3423DWF and the MSI MEG 342C QD OLED are both slightly cheaper alternatives that perform similarly. You can also consider the Samsung Odyssey OLED G9-G95SCS49CG95 if you want a 49-inch ultra-wide screen with a QD OLED panel, but because of its size and higher cost, only consider it if you want that big of a screen. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.